Hello students, uh, my name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tube Design. Uh, we are discussing module number 2 that is uh, temperatures in uh, metal cutting and uh, cutting fluids. So in this video we will discuss about heat transfer in uh, moving material. So to understand this uh, you should be having a fair idea about uh, heat and mass transfer subject. So anyhow we will move on to the slide. So you can uh, imagine a 1D uh, that is considered element A, B, C, D which has a unit thickness and through which material flows in X direction. So the A point uh, you can take coordinate as X and Y, uh, B point uh, in Y direction there is a change. So it will be B point will be X, uh, comma Y plus delta Y. Uh, in uh, D uh, per coordinate it is, uh, you know, X direction it is there is a change and Y direction there is no change. So D point will be X plus delta X. So L delta S is because of the uh, distance from A to D that is delta X. And then uh, C point will be X plus delta X. Uh, comma y plus delta y. So that let us take uh, temperature at point A is theta uh, and temperature at point D is uh, theta plus dou theta by dou x into delta x uh, and uh, temperature at uh, B point is theta plus dou theta by dou y into delta y. So and the temperature at C point is theta plus uh, dou theta by dou y delta y plus dou theta by dou x into delta x. So this is about uh, coordinates and the temperature uh, points. Uh, so we know that uh, 1D uh, heat conduction equation, so if you go to heat and mass transfer subject, 1D heat conduction equation is given by uh, dou by uh, dou theta by, so that is temperature by dou x or y depending upon which coordinate you are using by dou x. This is in case of one coordinate uh, plus uh, each generation that is Q dot. So this will be multiplied with uh, K that is uh, conductivity that is K uh, will be equal to uh, rho C, rho is uh, density and C is a specific heat uh, dou T by dou T that is small t. Okay, so this is the general uh, 1D uh, heat conduction equation. So this is equation, governing equation for the 1D heat conduction equation. Uh, similarly, if we can write this uh, for 2D, so it will be dou square theta by dou y square. So and instead of for T, uh, that is temperature T here, uh, we are writing it as theta. So plus dou square theta by dou x square. As uh, heat generation is zero here, we are assuming there is no heat generation happening. So we, it will be equal to R by rho A dou theta by dou x, so where R will be equal to uh, rho C V A by K. So that is the conductivity, thermal conductivity is on the right hand side. So it will be uh, you know, called as a thermal number. So where K is a thermal number, uh, C is a specific heat rho is a density so and v is a velocity of a material to heat source uh, so here in this case uh, for metal cutting we can take it as uh, density uh, so v is a, a cutting speed v will be equal to cutting speed uh, and then uh, a will be equal to ac that is uh, undeformed chip thickness okay so this is uh, sorry area of undeformed chip area of undeformed chip Okay, so this is about, uh, this is the general heat conduction equation uh, for metal cutting. So because we are assuming this uh, unit area that is A, B, C, D. So this equation is given by this. So once we solve this equation, so we will end up with the solution. Uh, so before solving, if you take it as today, it will be a difficult. So let us assume it as a uh, 1D, uh, then we solve it. Uh, so then the solution uh, can be depicted by the figure it is shown here. So as you can see here, uh, at this is the figure which is uh, uh, depicting uh, the 1D uh, case. So for uh, metal moving at high speed. So here it is uh, the point at the material approaching the heat source. Uh, let us take this is a P at a heat source. 
it is heated very rapidly uh, reaches its maximum temperature as you can see uh, from minus x it is moving to x is equal to 0 where the heat source is there so the temperature is uh, increasing rapidly and reaches its maximum temperature at the source uh, and then it remains at the constant temperature okay so with this uh, temperature distribution we can understand uh, how the temperature distribution uh, will happen in a metal cutting so which you can see in uh, another video similarly you can extend it for 2d case so this is for 1d case 